in this lecture we will find out elongation for a few more cases of axially loaded members at first we will take a square tapered bar subjected to an axial pull Here we have a square tapered bar. Okay, the cross sectional area here is D2 square, where this the side is D2. And at this end, the sides are of length D1. The ends are subjected to an axial pull P and the length of the bar is L. We have found out earlier that the elongation in a bar of uniform cross section is P L by A where A is the cross sectional area of the bar, P is the axial load, L is the length of the bar and E is the Young's modulus. So now in this question to find out elongation of this square tapered bar first of all we will take an elemental bar at a distance x from this end this elemental bar will have length dx okay so the side of the squared cross section area at this elemental cross section would be it would be d1 plus change in the side per unit length over the bar it will be d2 minus d1 it's the chain d2 minus d1 over a length l and for length x it would be d2 minus d1 by l multiplied by x and it will be added to d1 to get the sides of the square cross section at this point at this distance x okay so let's assume d2 minus d1 by l as gamma d1 plus gamma x so the elongation for this elemental length elongation for the elemental length dx it will be equal to p it's the axial load the length will be dx a as the cross section is square it will be d1 plus gamma x whole square into e now to find out the elongation over the total length l we have to integrate it to find delta l we have to integrate it over the length l P dx d1 plus gamma x whole square multiplied by e this P and e are constant it will come outside of integration this is 0 to L dx d1 plus gamma x whole square will erase this now delta L is P by E on integrating we'll get minus 1 D1 plus gamma X multiplied by 1 by gamma from 0 to L 
so this gamma will come outside this will be p by gamma e and this will be minus 1 d1 plus gamma x from 0 to l Okay. Now, p by gamma e will be minus one plus d one plus gamma l minus of minus will become plus, and this will be one by d one. Okay. This will be minus p gamma e will be d1 multiplied by d1 plus gamma l here it will be minus d1 plus d1 plus gamma l this d1 and d1 will, will get cancelled out this gamma will get cancelled out from here and it will be sorry there is no minus sign here Okay, this is P by E, this will be L D1, D1 plus gamma was D2 minus D1 by L multiplied by L, this D1 get, will get cancelled out. Let's move over to here. It will be P by E into L. It will be D1 and it's D2. So this is your expression for elongation in a square tapered bar with sides D1 at one end and sides D2 at one end. Uh, the next case will take is bars of uniform cross-section subjected to an axial pull bars of uniform cross-section subjected to an axial pull Now we have a bar of uniform circular cross section attached to a bar of uniform circular cross section attached to another bar of also uniform cross section. The diameter of this bar is D1, the diameter of this bar is D2 or D3. Now the area will be pi d1 square by 4 for this a2 is the area of this bar it will be pi d2 square by 4 a3 is the area of this bar and it will be pi d3 square by 4 now the total elongation is obviously the elongation of the individual bars which will be pl by a1 e1 if it's e1 if it has different modulus velocity it will be e1 for now we'll just take it as e or we shall take it as e1 again and if the length is l1 it has different lengths l2 and l3 it will have l1 it will have P L2 A2 E2 and it will have P L3 A3 E3 we have just added up the elongations of the individual bars so the delta L here 
can be written as P L1 A1 E1 plus L2 A2 E2 plus L3 A3 E3 here we have taken only three bars that are connected now we can have a multiple bars that are interconnected so we can write a general sort of formula for it delta L will be equal to P summation I from 1 to N if there are N bars of L1 so it's not 1 it's I L I A I E I so this will be the expression or a general rule for interconnected bars with uniform cross section subjected to an axial pull after this let's take a case of extension of a bar under its own weight extension of a bar under its own weight okay this case is somewhat different in all the cases we had varying cross-sectional area but in this case the, there is no axial pull okay it is just the weight that is acting as an axial pull for this bar so the weight that was acting that is acting in the in on this strip will be different because it will be the mass of this part this shaded part for different strip the shaded area will be different and so is the weight acting on that strip so it has varying load at different strip okay so we'll take an elemental area x sorry not elemental area we'll take an elemental strip of thickness dx at a distance x the length is obviously l and the cross-sectional area is a now we know that delta l is PL by A for bars of uniform cross section. This P by A is nothing but stress, so we can write sigma L by E. So elongation for this small strip of thickness dx will be, let's take it as delta L. It will be sigma, if gamma is the specific weight, let's take specific weight here. gamma into distance x it will give the weight of this shaded portion not the weight it will obviously it's like stress acting on this strip it multiplied by length dx and then divided by e so to find out the elongation over the whole length which is delta capital L 0 to L gamma x dx by e gamma and e will come outside and x dx will integrate to x square by 2 0 to l so this will come out to be gamma l square by 2 e so this is the elongation of this bar under its own weight now specific weight is nothing but by but weight per unit volume if w is the total weight of this bar specific weight will be weight divided by the total volume which is area into the length so this will be w 2 a l l square to e so l and 1 l will get cancelled out this will be w l by 2 a so these two expression can represent the elongation of the bar under its own weight so that's it for now, we'll meet in next class.